So I'm in here in the uh, uh, extra room, which is kind of like my studio. I, I've been planning on maybe doing this toy shot with the Gears of War characters. I have a couple ideas that I think might be fun. So I bought this, um, I bought this fog machine. Okay, so here it is. And I mean, look, look, look at the price that I got it for. This thing was hardly even used. It's not like I'm going to use a, a fog machine for, uh, you know, my um, club that I have in my other spare bedroom because, you know, um, right now we're social distancing, so not loud. I bought this, the aperture uh, light that you see here. Plus, you can control it from your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take a shot of the uh, Call of Duty guys here. I uh, got them posed to a, I think something that looks decent. You never know until you look it out on camera. My setup, I guess you could say the, the, the before, just not much to it, which is where I shot my uh, Spider-Man and Captain America shooting pool. And also the stormtroopers having a drink of tequila, which here you can see they're still uh, recovering uh, from partying that night. They're still passed out. Kind of like how I felt the other day. Hopefully I can set it up without messing anything else up. All oh, that's highly doubtful. Oh, I can't believe that worked. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just use the one element, which is the fog, and then I wanted to actually put in a second element in there, which is rain. So, I went ahead and did the shutter speed to 30, got it up there, and still had the lighting. I think I think it was pretty good. I, I really had to increase a lot more, and then my ISO was so high, it was just, it was so grainy. I was, I want, I want clean on this one. Sometimes green works, on this one it didn't. So now I have to try to figure out, to try to get more light onto here, on, onto my shot and see if I can raise the shutter speed. And I'm actually looking at maybe a thousand, and I even think that might be too low. So I wanna to try to shoot 2000, but this is gonna be a challenge because I don't think I have the lighting to be able to support that, to be able to keep my aperture at eight. So I'm gonna to have to bring my aperture down a little bit and hope that everything is a focus. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna to try to bring it down to the 7.1, then the six, and then the five, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we're still coming out a little dark. So I'm gonna do a couple settings here. I think I'm gonna raise the ISO, possibly drop the aperture. The fog's just not coming out. Like I was expecting. Boom. So that didn't work as, as I had planned. So this is becoming a little bit more, <laughs> more challenging than I originally thought. Like I said, huh, did I say this was more of a simple photo shoot uh, the other day? Yeah, uh, scr scratch that. Well, it's a moving element, right? Anytime you have a moving element, it's never gonna be that easy. I really thought that it was gonna be a little bit more simple. I think is what the thing is, is the setup is initially a little bit easier, right? I just pose my characters and that's, that's kind of about it and look for the lighting. The other ones I have to use, wires, uh, anything, that, anything to help hold up characters, whether it's Velcro, whatever. So on this one, I figured that's probably why I thought the setup was pretty simple. But shooting fog, not so much. When you have a shutter speed of a thousand and you want to keep that ISO low, maybe I could lower the shutter speed to 500 you know, compensate with the ISO and, and the aperture and maybe more light. Maybe I'll open up that window back there. I don't know, we'll see. Nah, still too noisy. A couple parts of the fog I don't like. Down to aperture 4.5, my back guys just aren't sharp. So I'm gonna try to raise it back up. See if I can compensate for the lighting. So you can see, obviously, I tried doing the shoot, 
see how it came out and uh, yeah it's still it's still spitting stuff out <laughs> anyways <laughs> it looks cool but yeah my shutter speed's still far too slow um, options still they came out okay I gotta find more light I think definitely I will never say this is a little bit more simple photo shoot than I usually do because obviously well that just bit me in the ass today so th there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my settings and instead I'm gonna actually try to shoot the fog in different ways whether it's 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 from the more like towards the back, more towards the bottom, uh, maybe even from the top, maybe that's what it is. And then I used a light to the in the back to see if maybe that fog then will even look even better with that light, which I think, I think it should. shutter speed to see if I can get something ah, it didn't work when I went down to the 500 it seemed like the fog was still it still kind of had that silk look so a while back I actually did a little test when I first got the fog machine and I got this figure my t2 guy there goes that my t2 guy so I figured I'm going to try and just do a quick test with the fog machine and it, worked, it, it looked cool, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna go back to the computer, check out the settings I used on that. When I did, I noticed that it's actually 160 shutter speed that I was using, and uh, I think my ISO was maybe 200 or something like that. My aperture, of course, was much more wide open because I had one character shooting there, which I think I, think I was at a 3.5 or something like that. But you can see lights just I had to open up everything window everything, but I think it finally worked started getting a little uh, like oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm using My phone. I'm using my old phone. I'm using the aperture light. I'm using this light. I even opened the window Everything I changed my white balance to tungsten so it actually is working out quite well and Honestly, it's, it's, I think it's the first time I've ever used the white balance of tungsten. I always like, I only knew because every time I would use it, I'm like, why would I ever use that? Well, everything has a purpose at, one, at some point. It worked. So, I think I got some great photos. I really was trying to put some rain into it. That was one thing I was going to try to do. But this spray bottle sucks. It's terrible. It just sprays and when I was spraying it would move the fog out because of the pressure and it just it, it, it just wasn't good. You couldn't even see the raindrops. In the end that didn't work and I think I have a couple photos that are gonna work. I'm gonna go up on the I'm gonna go to the desktop check them out. Okay so I went I had just so you know it was about 430 total photos that I, that I took. At this point, I honestly didn't have the highest expectations. I went over there and to, to my surprise, I found 
some fantastic ones. So I actually pretty quickly narrowed it down to probably about 20, 25, and soon after that it was down to about three. I just couldn't believe it. I, I was actually ex not expecting this. So I don't think I'm gonna have to use rain on here. I almost think it might even take away from it if I did. It, it, it turned out fantastic. And so you could see, so here is the before picture right here. And then here's the after. I, I ended up taking three of the ones that I liked the most. I used two other photos to complete the photo that I chose among all of them. And it worked out beautifully. So I'm extremely happy with the results. I think they came out great. Shooting fog for the first time. Different, but still fun. Although, man, that was a lot of fog in this room. I had to open up the windows and let all that air out. And I don't think, yeah, it, good, good and bad that I don't have a fire alarm in here. Good in the sense that they probably would have went off. Bad that I probably should have a fire alarm in here. Guess what?